So, I am a black man. That's right. I am a black writer, producer, composer, director. Pretty much just imagine Childish Gambino with Kanye's graduation bear costume on. Which means I'm also a furry. Now, that last part wouldn't be so bad, but there's some weird stuff that happens in the music industry when you're a furry. So, let's get into it. So, some nerve in the human spinal cord has deemed the tribe of furry and rap music as incompatible. Furry, just for a very brief definition, is people who create these animal beast man personas. That's it. And I'm trying to get to the bottom of that. It has been shown and proven time and time again that music videos that feature my fursuit do get a disproportionate amount of dislikes compared to my other videos. From Dorian Group 82 live streams and Patrick CCTV live streams sending in money and paying for reviews of my song, it has been shown that in 100% of the case, before any visual was applied to the audio, if you just heard me for me, they were willing to give it a fighting chance before they casted judgment. But in all cases where I gave the music video and showed the fursuit, half of the people rejected me outright just for the fursuit. Hell, even the Pokemon site for 2019, which I don't have to remind you all, I won, right? I smacked 300 niggas just to get that spot. And the whole big draw was that Link was going to come through in his first one. It was going to be a whole cool thing. It was going to be fun, which it was fun. It was awesome. Wasn't even the top five discussed in the cipher at the end of the day. Hell, they were disgusted. So let's see the reason as to why that may have been. Now, maybe it's just the fact that I'm whack and undeserving. I mean, there has been a history of furries trying and failing miserably to do rap music, but if this shit is failing, I feel like the I'm gonna be real rough, get licked by my fucking feet line. I ain't turned on by no woman that day. I'm gonna turn the bitch over to eat a whole beat. Just that ooh, take me as you please, and then I'm feeling the vibe, the vibe that's pleasure in the room. Then who's winning? Okay, so maybe that's not it. Maybe they just don't like animals rapping. Wait, no, that's Cap, because we got DMX, Birdman, and Snoop Dogg. And come on, guys, Snoop Dogg even changed this shit to a lion, y'all capping. So that can't be it. Maybe they just don't like any type of queer or any type of weird niggas rapping. But that's that's Cap. <laughs> that's obviously Cap. And we got Tyler the Creator. Weird and queer. Andre 3000, weird as shit. He's a goat. And y'all y'all carry Young Thug all the way through to the other side into super stardom. And right now, y'all bumping Mario Judah. So that has to be Cap. Y'all definitely fuck with weird niggas. Hmm. It's not that. It's the costume. It's the costume. It has to be the costume. It has to be the costume, all right? I wear a mask over my face. It inhibits you from seeing the, you know, the human, the human side of me when I'm in my music videos, and it stops you from forming a real, um, a personal human connection. Um, there's rappers with mask and face paint on behind me, aren't there? Hmm. I am not quite sure what it is then. It's not because I'm whack. Well, that's not a thing. And it's not because I'm weird, because it's already been shown that y'all fuck with that. It's not because I'm an animal. It's not because I wear the costume. Maybe it's because I'm a black man without a bandwagon following yet. Maybe it's because I'm a black man that's trying to do something completely different in a world, in a society, in a culture that's trying to conform you to bullshit. That's trying to take us away from our ways. Do you know if I cared about appealing to industry professionals? Like, right now, how much I could just clean up and just get rid of all the kooky shit and just be famous right now. But I don't care. I don't care about none of that because I'm me. They try to strip me of who I am for the sake of white America and uh, for the sake of not making anybody uh, uh, afraid or intimidated. Fuck that. So, I am at my wit's end. I have been trying to find out the just optimal solution of what to do. One thing I realized is that there are no spaces for black males like me at all, right? You have like the, the black manosphere and things like that. Um, that's been very helpful in getting a lot of my mindset together because uh, I did grow up without a father and it was very important that I got a lot of those teachings from the Negro manosphere. The thing is, we don't align on everything, right? So there's no real community for Negro men like me 
of me. Weird, queer, uh, intellectual, just very business focused, um, very masculine in their energy and just ready to get it done anyways, right? We're weird, we're just a weird subset. Um, but I, I, I'm looking I'm looking forward to finding you guys and it might be even way way harder to find any of you guys if, if any of you rest in the fandom but that's kind of my first option to go to PLCs I'm looking at you first please like I, I need you I need you to hit me up this year if you if you fit this category if you are me and is making all this crazy amazing beautiful shit that people don't seem to be seeing why isn't it being seen? Because we don't stick together. Please, hit me up. Stay together. Let's push each other this year, dog. What are we doing? Push each other. We have to be on this year because they're not going to give us the ownership that we want. These white folk, these white folk, they, they don't want us here. And they don't want to see us at the top. That's why we have to force our way through to the top. Please, hit me up. Anything. My link tree. Hit it up. Hit it up. Message me right now, defiantlinkgaming at gmail.com. Twitter, BlacklinkXCovu. Message me. Instagram, BlacklinkXCovu. Telegram, Blacklink. Hit me up. Discord, Blacklink number 5103. Message me. Hit me up right now. Please, we have to get this done. This year. This year.